Good evening. Thank you for being here. I think tonight was a rare special moment for a coach um, to have seven seniors to come in this tournament. I was the only thing I was fearful about is how bad they want it. I was scared they would be over anxious, maybe foul too much, maybe maybe turn the ball over too much because uh, they were just pin up wanting re really wanted to get out and do well today. But the one thing that uh, we wanted to focus on was rebounding and uh, we really did that. I think it's a lesson to our team, as I just said in the locker room, that whatever you set your mind to do, you can really do it. Because um, from what I understand, we set many records in rebounding tonight, including um, the second best showing in all of NCAA women's basketball history. It's the second most rebounds ever in a game. So again, this is a special night. Um, the team we played and the coach we played against is 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 great. They they have established a great program over there and any time you can get a win against them is an amazing feeling, but to get a win against them in the tournament with uh, Coach Boyer's experience in the tournament, how well he does in tournament situations, um, it's really a special experience. Um, our seniors really set the tone. We had people come off the bench and really contribute all the way down to our freshmen who did a good job. Uh, it was a good team effort, but the seniors really set the tone for us. Carissa Banks was very, very aggressive on both ends of the floor. Uh, she was relentless. We kept subbing her out to rest her, but when she went back in, she never missed a beat. She, she caused a lot of problems. Uh, maybe not so much on the stat line, but Deja Williams with her size and presence inside and her smarts inside. I think she did a lot of things that didn't show up on the stat line. But there's plenty to say about the stat line. Caitlin Ramirez here, I guess we're about to talk about her, but she set many records tonight. Her determination was phenomenal, and the rest of her team followed behind her with that determination. If you have a question for Caitlin Ramirez, please raise your hand, and Darren with the microphone will get the mic to you. Questions for Caitlin Ramirez? Right here, Les East. Caitlin, in addition to the team records, I think you had 25 points, 22 rebounds in 22 minutes. Can you just put into perspective what you and your teammates were able to do against a, a pretty good team? Um, well, we were just focused coming into this tournament. And, you know, being a senior, I have to, you know, set an example for those so that everybody else can follow. It's all about leadership. And, you know, this season we, um, we had our ups and downs, but this is one thing that I, I really want, and I'm going to make sure that our team follows up with it and make sure we end up, be the last team with the win at the end of the tournament. Question for Caitlin. Anybody? Going once, going twice. Caitlin, we're going to release you to rejoin your teammates. Yes, thank, good job, thank you. Thank you. See you in the semifinal Saturday. We will continue with questions for Coach Rigby. If you have a question, please raise your hand and we will get a microphone to you. Right here, red shirt. Coach, uh, is it typical of your teams to be up almost 30 with under two minutes to go and continue to shoot threes and basically run up the score? Uh, yes, we have one style of play and it's fast and I don't falter from that whether we're down by 30 or up by 30 That's what makes us as successful as we are because we have a game plan and that's how we do it Now one thing we do do out of sportsmanship um, If everybody's had playing time and everybody's in a groove and we've gotten everybody the experience they need We do back off like we did tonight. We back off of the press, but yes, we continue to run and shoot and we hope to keep getting better at it That's how we want to push Troy University's name forward, and that's how we feel like we can best do that by being successful on the basketball court and score. Questions for Coach Rigby? Here in the back, Van. Coach, in the second quarter, you led by 21. They ended up cutting it to three. So obviously, you know, when you go in the locker room at halftime, you got to, it, it wasn't over. Uh, what, what did you tell your team? To, to keep that from happening again? Well, that's a good question because, you know, that's th something we battle with. And, and that's the other side to the last good question that was asked right here by this gentleman. Um, when you shoot like that, when you run and shoot so quickly, 30 points might look like a big lead to a normal basketball fan. But to us, night in and night out, when we try to shoot 100 shots every night, I don't know of any other team that strives for that, but we strive to shoot 100 shots every night. Just as quickly as you can get up 30, you can get down 30. And you saw that swing in the second quarter. We're accustomed to that. Sometimes we've come out on the wrong end of that. More times than not in my career, uh, when I say, OK, let's, let's back off a little bit. We're up by 30. That's what happens, because you've got the other team in a very fast pace 
in a mode and and they can beat you like that so that's why you can't ever back off and uh, especially when you're going against a coach like Brian Boyer he knows how to win a basketball game in that situation um, yeah well thoughts on the game is just uh, uh, congratulations to Troy um, uh, they're they're a veteran team extremely talented team um, that you could tell obviously today was on a mission uh, played extremely well our players played hard. Um, it never thought for any minute that we weren't playing hard. Made some mistakes. Um, obviously, rebounding didn't win very good. Got caught up in the run. But when it's all said and done, Troy's just a better team than us. Played harder, played better. Uh, credit all goes to them today. If you have a question for Brittany Fowler, please raise your hand and we'll get a microphone to you. Hey, Brittany, just kind of your thoughts on your career as a whole now that it's over? Um, I'm really lucky to have gone to Arkansas State. I'm blessed to have been at uh, Coach Boyer given the opportunity to come here because it's been one of the best decisions of my life. I've had so much fun. I've met great people, and it's really made me to the person I am today. And I'm really glad I got to do it with Dominic Oliver the whole time. She's my best friend, and she's made me a better person. Questions for Brittany? Brittany, when you guys cut the lead down uh, right before half, what was kind of the, I guess, the feeling of the team going into halftime and coming out? Oh, it was great because we made an awesome comeback and the momentum was going our way and because we were down by a lot, but we kept fighting, we kept fighting, and I think that says a lot about our character over the season. And even though we haven't had the best season, that we always keep fighting, and that says a lot about us. And, you know, that really meant a lot going into halftime. Questions for Brittany? Brittany, thank you for your time, and we'll uh, dismiss you at this time to uh, rejoin your teammates. We will continue with questions for Coach Boyer. If you have a question, please raise your hand, and we will get a microphone to you. Coach Boyer, kind of similar to what I just asked, Brittany, going into half, uh, you had to feel pretty good about being able to cut that lead down like that. Just what was the thought, and what was the halftime message? Well, we, um, you know, we were we were fortunate during that. Um, you know, the second quarter, we, we we did shift it. We went to zone for a little bit. Our players did a really good job of it. And, um, you know, they started missing shots, you know, more more than anything. They just started missing shots. And when they missed shots, you know, they weren't able to get into the press, uh, which has allowed us to have some success on offense and we were able to cut into it. And, um, you know, at least you, you felt good about it. That You know, I think they scored the last one or two possessions right before going into half, which felt like, you know, kind of took the wind out of our sails a little bit. Um, but at least we knew coming in, coming out of halftime, we still with, was within reach, um, and uh, you know, so at least gave us a shot. Just now that you can maybe look back on this team full of young players, uh, just your overall thoughts of them being able to get two games in, what that's going to mean for you guys moving forward. Well, I think, you know, again, I said, uh, you know, the other night afterwards and, and even yesterday some is, uh, um, you know, it, it's important to experience what the tournament's about. You know, in, in the first game, it's it, you don't really get to do that. At least you get by the first game, it does allow you to experience what it's about. And, um, you know, hopefully that'll be valuable, you know, again, as we move forward. Coach, I know that um, you'll be hitting the recruiting tra trail and you'll take a little time to decompress maybe, but between now and the end of school, just kind of your game plan with the, the team coming back for next year and your your long-range goals going into the summer, it, what you got planned for them? Well, um, you know, I, I will, we'll probably decide that. And again, I'm leaving it. I may leave tonight, I don't know, either that or tomorrow at 6 a.m. I haven't decided to go recruiting for the weekend and then um, – uh, give some time to thought. I, um, you know, we'll probably give them a week off right before spring break, and then come back and get to work. You know, um, you got a lot of things you have to do with this group. Is um, number one, we got to we got to get back and play catch up academically. You know, because it's easy to fall behind during February uh, in early March here with all the classes you miss. So that's got to be our priority, uh, making sure we're in good shape there. Um, you know, and then uh, you know, college basketball. It's it's all about recruitment of players and development of players, you know, and, and uh, we've got both of those to work on, uh, you know, as far as we, we had a good early signing class, we, um, you know, we do have one scholarship available right now. 
Um, so we need to make that a big one for us. And then, and then more importantly with this team, it's the, the development of players piece of it. Uh, um, we've got to get players to get better. And, um, you know, when you look at these freshmen, especially in all my years of coaching, the biggest jump players make in college is between their freshman and sophomore year. And, and we have the opportunity to do that. I think now uh, when you look at these freshmen, it, it's so hard last summer this preseason, even early practice, it's really hard to get them really to understand the speed that you have to play at. And it's even harder when they're going against each other every day in a practice. You know, they're not going against the upperclassmen every day except a couple of them. And so now they get it, they understand. And, and uh, you know, the obviously going into the summer, into preseason next year, you got to believe our, our conditioning, our speed, our quickness, you know, athleticism, all those things will be better because I think they get it now and, and, and we'll, have a, we'll be able to uh, reinforce our message a little bit better. Coach, it seemed like uh, it was a great game, probably the best game all year for Peyton Tennyson. Just your thoughts on her play tonight. You know, she's had a good last, uh, you know, few weeks. And she's one especially that, um, you know, she really didn't get a, a fair shot this year. Her preseason was not good. She had a lot of some health issues and, and just, you know, she missed a lot of the preseason. And, you know, that's hard for anybody, especially a, a freshman. And, and, you know, she just feels like she's had to play catch up all year long. And, and it's just now where you're starting to see her physically able to get out there and compete. The, the, the skill level, the basketball has never been a question with her. She's a very skilled athlete, a skilled basketball player. It's just a matter to get the physical part of it together. And uh, she's come a long way. And if she'll continue to, to build on that from here, she's going to be a good player. She's talented.